Hey everybody, welcome to C3Kids Online 45 edition. I'm Lisa and I'm the elementary director here at Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we are all about helping people find their way back to God. I'm so glad you've tuned in today because C3Kids Online 45 edition is the place for fourth and fifth graders to learn all about Jesus and how much he loves us. Here's what you can expect from our program today. You'll have the opportunity to connect with God and worship him while singing and dancing if you want. Then you'll hear a true story from the Bible during a fun and sometimes kind of crazy thing called the so-and-so show. You'll be given a key question at the end that you can reflect on and have conversations about all week long at home. Now, of course, I'm so glad you've joined online today, but I'd love to invite you to come to an in-person service. We've got a program designed with you in mind. It's a super fun place for fourth and fifth graders to meet other kids their age, connect in a small group, and learn all about Jesus and how to best follow Him. If you want to come to an in-person service, head to our website, communitycc.net, where you can find all the details and you can even pre-register for your visit. Well, your countdown's on its way, so let's get started with C-Theory Kids Online 45 edition.
All right, um, let's see what we got here. Ooh, I got this, I got this. Socket wrench. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spark plug. Yeah. Here we go. Hammer. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A blowtorch. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Garden gnome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. And, oh, 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 it's falling. Gum. Gum. Mm-hmm. Oh, great, thank you. I'm gonna hold. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> so, is it fixed? Yeah, I think so. the so-and-so show. I'm John. This is ridiculous. And, and, and that frustrated and distracted mm. person is Brendan. Ah. The show started. What? This, oh, uh, hi, I'm Brandon. And we already did that. Welcome to the so-and-so show. I did show. that too. What? Okay, let me catch you up. Back in February, Brandon got his stunt driver's license, you know, so he could be a stunt driver. But while doing that, he didn't realize that his regular driver's license was about to expire. So now he may be able to drive his car on two wheels while on fire over a cliff, but he can't drive his car normally down the street to the store. Yeah, so I'm hungry, I'm stir crazy, and I'm tired of riding shotgun with John. Everybody. Oh, so sweet. But it's true, he's a terrible side seat driver. I would normally just, you know, renew my license, mm -hmm. but but since it's been so long, I have to retake my driver's test, and I have to do it virtually. virtually. Thus, the video game setup. Mm. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not used to driving like this. I've either crashed, gotten a ticket, or run over grandma. Yeah, oh, I did not a real grandma, oh, a no. virtual grandma. No. Yeah, yeah, but the results are the same. I failed every practice test, and I have to take the real test and. Five minutes! Okay, okay, okay. So as your friend, I think I have come up with a great solution. Really? Yes! Please welcome someone who knows stuff! Oh! Hey guys! Someone need a driving expert? Woo! Yes! Brandon needs a quick crash course in virtual driving. Brianna? <laughs> you look surprised to see me. Yeah, uh, do you even have a driver's license? A real one? <laughs> Of course not. Yeah. I'm 12, silly. Yeah, yeah Brandon. Yeah, okay, why, uh, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? No problem. Okay. I'm Brianna. I'm a professional video game player and the current world champion in 11 different car racing games, including Super Speed 70, Racing Rockstars, and Eat My Dust. Oh. Which is incredible, but you don't have a real driver's license. No offense. None taken. I'm 12. She doesn't need one. She's just here to give you some pointers before the test. I think I need more than a few pointers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I just had a brilliant idea! Now, we all know you're a great normal driver, but you're, you're horrible at this virtual thing. So, she can take the test for you. Ah! Easy peasy mac and cheesy! Oh. Oh, oh! Did it? That would work! <laughs> but isn't, isn't that cheating? <laughs> it's virtual cheating. So it's not real cheating. Oh, is that how that works? Look at it this way. If you were taking a real driver's test, you would already have your license right now. But you, it's not your fault that you're horrible at virtual driving, but you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I would have passed it by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, something just doesn't feel right about letting Brianna take the test for me. I mean, what do you think? You're talking to me? I'm 12. Yeah. I know, but I, I want to know your opinion. I I think you can pass the test on your own. Also, you don't want to get your driver's license by cheating, real or virtual. That's a good point. Hey, but you can coach me while I take the test. That's allowed, right? Are you sure you don't want her to just take it for you? I mean, nobody would know. We would know, oh. and that's enough. 
Your driving test begins in 30 seconds. Well, it's now or never, or at least until I take the test again. You can do it. Listen to my voice and I'll walk you through it. Okay, okay. Gas. Hit the gas. Yeah, I did. Now, left blinker. Yeah. Change lanes. Brake! 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 I'm braking! Now, speed up a little. Speed up. Crosswalk! What? Crosswalk! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I have a problem with that part. Okay. Hello, Park. Oh, do I have to? Yes. Okay. Now, swivel! 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 I'm swiveling! That's it! Stop! Put it in park! Okay. Is that it? Is it over? Oh, Brandon, you did so good! Oh, except for the grandma part. What is it with you and grandma? I have no idea. He'll be fine. He stopped for her. Well, that's true. Your results oh, no. are in. You passed. Oh, you did it! You did it! Wow. Wow. I passed. Where'd it go? I did it! I knew you could do it. Me too. I, deep down, I... And don't you feel proud you did it without cheating? I do. Well, then I guess my work here is done. Oh. Let me know if you ever need any more help. I'm champion in a bunch of different games. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much, Thanks, Brianna. Brianna. <laughs> you believed I could pass, huh? I did. I think we should see what Kellen has to say. Probably not a bad idea. It's Bible, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen. Hey guys, let me start by saying I am proud of you for not taking the easy way out and instead being honest and doing what's right. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Well, wasn't talking to you. I know, I know, I know. Hey, we've all been there and we've all been tempted to do what's easy even though we knew it's something we shouldn't do. I, I was just trying to help. 100%. But that's how we can talk ourselves into being dishonest and losing our integrity. And it's exactly what today's story is all about. I guess it's something I need to hear. So uh, uh, take it away, Kellen. All right, quick setup. This story comes from the book of Daniel in the Old Testament. So do you think you know who we're talking about today? Not Daniel, but close. We're talking about three of his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, these three, along with Daniel, had been captured and taken back to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. And because God had blessed them with knowledge and wisdom, the king had put them into service in his court. All right, I think that's enough backstory. Let's begin. While Daniel was away doing Daniel things, King Nebuchadnezzar had a big old statue made out of gold placed in the center of the city. I am one handsome dude. <laughs> we don't technically know if the statue looked like King Nebuchadnezzar. We just know he had it built, but you get the idea. He then sent for all of his highest officials, including Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, to help him dedicate the new statue. That is a big old statue. Oh, very big. <laughs> Huge, even. King Nebuchadnezzar sent out a messenger <laughs> to announce his royal decree. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. From now on, any time you hear this music... I think I heard a pan flute. Ah, and some harps and lyres. Was that a zither? You must bow to the statue and worship it. If you do not, you will be thrown into the fiery furnace. And trust me, you don't want that. Mm, that seems harsh. So mean. Uh, furnaces are hot, right? It didn't take long for King Nebuchadnezzar to try out his new decree. When everyone heard the music, they all bowed down and worshiped the statue. Well, everyone except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We can't bow down. 
No bowing. It's not our thing. <laughs> they would not worship anyone or anything but the one true God. And to say that King Nebuchadnezzar was angry, well, that would be an understatement. I am angry! Very angry! So angry! <gasps> Bring me Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego! So they were brought to the king. You did not bow before my statue! And that hurts my feelings! You must bow! So, when I play the music again, you are going to bow. Or it's fiery furnace time! <laughs> music! Now, bow. Even though this music is incredible, we still will not bow down. Nice music, no bow. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Ha. <laughs> Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You are about to be flambéed. If you throw us in there, our God will save us. It's what God does. Even if we knew God wouldn't save us, we still wouldn't bow down to your statue. <laughs> to the furnace with them and make it hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were tied up and thrown into the furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar ordered the furnace to be seven times hotter than usual. It was so hot, people, that when the soldiers threw them in, it was actually the soldiers who died. But that wasn't the only wild part. It was when King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace that things got really interesting. Well, look, I see four men walking around in the fire. Four men? And they aren't even tied up! And it looks like the flames haven't harmed them at all! The fourth man looks like a son of the gods! The king was so amazed at what he saw that he ordered them to come out, and they did. And not only were they 100% fine, not one hair on their bodies was singed, and they didn't even smell like smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He sent his angel and saved his servants. They trusted in him. They refused to obey my command, but may they be honored and be given even higher positions within the city of Babylon and all the towns around it. Wow, thanks. All right. We are on fire right now. What, too soon? And that's what happened, the end. So here you have these three guys who could have easily just bowed down and no one would have thought anything about it, but they said no. The easy way may have been the safe choice, but it would have been a lie and it could have hurt their integrity. Yeah, and their decision not only affected King Nebuchadnezzar, but the entire kingdom for generations to come. Hmm. Yep. Because of their love for God, the king and everyone in the kingdom got to see just how powerful God is. And you know what? I think that this leads you perfectly into the question of the day. So my work here is done. Until next time. Reveal the question. Oh, when has someone helped you see God? Woo. Oh, when I was in middle school, a friend of mine who was terrible at math was accidentally given the answer key to a test that he had to pass. Whoa. 
but instead of using it, he turned it in. Did he pass the test? He made a C, but he told me it was the best C he ever made. Huh. And I remember thinking, that's the kind of honesty God wants me to have. Yeah, well, you and Brianna showed me true integrity earlier, and I'm sorry I even suggested cheating. Well, you were only trying to help. I appreciate I, that. Yes, thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, I think today was a pretty good show. And I got my license back, so it was actually a yeah. great show. Hey, do you think Brianna would show me how to win Eat My Dust? Absolutely, uh, but you might want to wear earplugs. Oh, right. right. All right, we'll see you next week for a brand new show. Bye. Bye. She is kind of loud when she gets yeah. excited. Oh, thank you. It doesn't seem so hard. Okay, should I take this boost? Yep, that's perfect. You're doing great. <laughs> Thanks. Now, take the right fork in the road uh -huh. and shift down into fourth gear. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I think you're right. You're doing super. <laughs> now, watch it. You've got Rita the Ragtag coming up on your right. Uh-oh, what, what, what? And Harry Larry on your left. Where, where? Sizzling Susie is straight up behind you. Get ready to hit your turbo. When? Now! Uh, uh. Swerve left! Uh. Swerve right! Uh. Turbo. 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 turbo! 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 Turboing! If you want to lift, make the jump! Uh, jump! 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 <laughs> jump. Perfect ending. <laughs> you passed. I don't want to eat any more dust.